Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set app permissions in Windows 10. So if you have specific applications that you want to control what, how, and what they actually do, in this tutorial we'll go over how to monitor exactly what apps have access to on your computer. So this is going to be pretty straightforward and we're going to just jump right into it here. And we're going to start by heading over to the start button. And then we're going to left click on the little gear icon right above the power button that should say settings if you hover over it. Now you want to left click on the privacy tile. So at this point you can actually go through all these different settings and see what these specific applications are doing on your computer. So the first page, the general page, will just give you, obviously, as it appears, a general overview of different settings that can be changed. Specifically, most of it has to do with smart screen. Like, for example, smart screen filter to check for web content that the Windows Store apps use, which I would definitely recommend keeping that on. Let apps use your advertising ID for experience across all apps. You might want to turn that off, but you have to keep that in mind. That'll do it for all of your apps. It'll give you ads more targeted to your own personal taste. So that's why that's enabled by default. If you want to get more into the specific app by app, you can start going down this list here. Underneath location, we can see the location tracking is on. And if you want to scroll down and see different apps that you can use your location, they'll be listed down here if you scroll down to the bottom of the page. Just to turn something on or off, you can just toggle it to the on or off position just by left clicking on the oval. And it appears there's even geofencing, which is built in, which will basically trigger an alert from an app if you leave a certain predefined area. I don't know what apps might use this. I'm sure there are a few that if I looked around, I probably could find them, but you could also disable some through here if they were listed. You can also set a default location on this page as well, and you can clear any location history that might be stored on the apps on your local computer. Whether or not that means that it's going to clear any information that's been stored on their remote servers. So specifically, like say for example, a Facebook app, I'm sure they'll still be able to keep your records of where you were if for some reason you had this enabled. You can also use the camera app. And again, you can just toggle the top setting to the off position to turn it off for all of the apps below. But we can see how many apps have our camera on by default. Most of these settings are turned on when you're installing Windows 10 by default and you don't change any settings. This is what will typically happen to you. You'll have a lot of things that are more invasive on your privacy than you might consider. So just keep that in mind, you can disable any one particular one or you can just turn them all off at the top by just toggling this to the off position. You can also go down to the microphone setting on the left and you can turn on or off ones for specific apps. Same thing with notifications, speech and ink typing, and that's pretty much it. If you want to scroll down to email, you can go through some of the other ones here as well. A lot of these will be targeted specifically for whatever the category is once you get down that far. But I think the biggest things that most of you guys are going to be concerned about, it will be underneath the location tab, the camera tab, the microphone tab, and the notification tab. But you're more than welcome to go through all the settings on this page and change whatever you feel is necessary. So just keep that in mind. And once you're done, you don't really have to click on save or anything. All your settings should be saved by just clicking out of the oval. So it should automatically save any changes you make. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out. And I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.